Hey everybody, we made it halfway through the week. It's time for the 10 TV Weather Impact Show. We're so glad that you're here to join us so we can talk about all things weather from heat to storms back in the forecast. Yeah, a lot of thing, uh, things happening uh, today. We got the really the hottest day of the year so Oof. far. We got to, I believe it was 84, 85 degrees yesterday on Tuesday. 85. So 85, It was okay. 84.9, but I okay. always say that's Yeah, you round up. Yeah, you got to round up. And that's what our forecast was anyway. It was 85, <laughs> yeah, so, so we got it on we the got dot. It. And uh, yeah, today even hotter temperatures. <laughs> Temperatures, a little bit more humidity, right. uh, not uh, not the greatest feel for when you're outside and everything. Ponytail yeah. day for a reason. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of other people can relate. Yeah, your but hair I, looks good though. Yeah, it's it's working. I got the hair, <laughs> hairspray in, okay, so good, it'll be uh, okay. it'll be fine today. Uh, but I know a lot of people, including myself, have been eager for these warmer days to get outside. Yes. Uh, I've been really wanting to get out paddle boarding, so we got some good weather. Well, today is the day to do that. Maybe this later afternoon, early evening. But I can tell you, the skies will stay hazy. I'm sure you've already noticed how different the sky looks. Yes, it's a mostly sunny, sunny day, but with that haze, it's making things look a lot different. And also the heat and humidity, that's really cranked up today. And we're going to see that humidity last for a couple more days, but the storm starting on Thursday, we're going to have to keep a very close eye on. So what is our weather impact in the immediate? Well, for today, that is going to be the heat and the humidity. It's the three H's today. It's hazy, hot, and humid. And so just make sure you're prepared. Drink plenty of fluids. We'll talk a little bit more in just a bit about how much water you should actually drink because it was really surprising to me when we went on the morning show today. But also having that right sunscreen, reapplying it, because even if you think it's going to last all day, you have to reapply it, especially if you sweat or if you are in a pool lazy river. I know all of those sound fantastic on a day like today because you can see how quickly this afternoon we see those temperatures go up, but you'll also notice some more clouds starting to move in as we have our next storm system that's going to be impacting us. So I do want to show you this outlook over the next three days. Not so much today. Today is going to be the dry day, the hot day, but on Thursday, on Friday, the Storm Prediction Center has us on a low level of possible severe storms, more isolated of a threat that means more here or there not every storm that forms will be severe but as always when there's a threat we want to let you know just so you can prepare ahead of time and if for some reason a warning is issued for a storm turning severe you have that time to make sure that you're safely where you need to be, especially if you're outdoors. So let's go through the hour by hour forecast. I'll start off here at 630. In the morning, you might have some pop up storms for your commute. By nine o'clock, you can see we do get some clusters, and this is really how it's going to be throughout the day for us on Thursday. We're going to have storms here and there. So while we might have storms in Bell Fountain, for example, New Lexington, McConnellsville, you might actually be dry and quiet until these storms start to fire up. And then you can see Marysville dries out, but we have storms moving through New Lexington and Mount Vernon. So this is going to be kind of on and off for us for most of the day today. Again, you can see by two o'clock those storms moving into our eastern counties. We do get some clearing. We might even have some peaks of sunshine as the second half of the day for Thursday, but that's also going to continuously fuel the atmosphere and really prime it for those storms to develop and with that potential to get strong to severe. You can even see here on our future cast, we might even have a storm rumble through the Columbus Metro as we go after sunset and then overnight still having a risk. And especially as we go into the early morning hours, we're continuously seeing this risk for these storms to develop. Again, more hit or miss. Now these ones really start to blow up with our current forecast from Jackson to Athens and McConnellsville as we go into the commute. You can see this could also impact Columbus, so we're going to watch that closely for you. But just know that could impact your commute, especially if we have heavy downpours where the roads get that ponding and you know it can get very slippery very quickly. That's 8 o'clock. Again, we might see some sun here and there, and then it does look like we'll have another round of storms in the afternoon. So you're kind of seeing the pattern over the next couple of days. We could have some storms overnight, followed by another round in the morning, followed by another round in the afternoon or early evening, and that's really going to be our forecast for Thursday and for Friday. You can see even for the commute home, we do look at the potential for more storms developing and really firing up even as we go into Saturday morning. Uh, we're going to watch that very closely for you, but the temperatures again on their way up for the afternoon forecast today. Mostly sunny skies, 88 degrees. It is definitely going to be a scorcher and the heat index could actually be into the low 90s. So just overall, make sure you're taking breaks in the shade and just know that we are going to see that unsaid weather right now through the first half of Saturday. 
And then as we move forward into Sunday, it actually looks to be our dry day of the weekend. Now you'll notice the temperatures start to go back down. We'll be back into the upper 70s, which is actually average for us. So we're cooling down with this next front that comes through Friday, but we're not getting cold. So that's uh, some good news for us. But, uh, you know, I think after this heat, we need a cool down. I think the problem is just the severe weather risk. Yeah, and we're going to be uh, definitely watching that, uh, you know, a couple of rounds, possibly Friday morning, Friday evening, Friday night. Um, and nice to see the, you know, at least the cooler weather after, uh, you know, the heat and humidity today. <sighs> I know some people enjoy it, especially if you're going to be at the lake or the right. pool. But if you're just going to be outside uh, just doing normal things, you know, mowing the lawn, just doing some gardening, right. not really ideal to have uh, almost 90 degrees. And if you have elderly neighbors or you live in a community with someone that might be disabled, maybe go check on them. Yeah. You know, be, be a neighbor support because if their air conditioning goes out, if something happens, it's always good to have somebody just keeping an eye on those things. We don't think about that, but, you know, somebody next door may need extra help and you yep. could be somebody that helps. And please. Please don't ever leave your children or your pets in the backseat of a car. The only thing that should be there is grocery bags. Exactly. Yeah, because I mean, the thing to keep in mind is just how quickly the mm -hmm. inside of your car actually heats up. Uh, we always talk about it every summer. Your car actually acts like a greenhouse, so it heats mm. up quicker than it does outside. So, you know, it might be 88 degrees, but the inside of your car is 120. Right. You, know, you, you get in the car on a hot day and the seatbelt hot, is hot. Well, your car is pretty hot, so do not uh, leave your children or your pets, anyone unattended in the car, even just for five minutes because right. and it gets hot. Speaking of pets, too, just remember the pavement, like a hot mm -hmm. asphalt. Yep. It could the be paws, 88. Yeah. yeah, the paws can get burned. So just a lot of things to think about because I know we're not fully into summer yet, but just think anything that the sun is bearing down on, those temperatures can go up really quickly. Yeah, so good things to keep in mind, especially, you know, now that we are into June, we're going to start right. to see more of those uh, hotter days. And also, we want to make sure that you are staying hydrated all day. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, you need to drink at least one or two bottles, get this, of water every hour. That's now, a lot of water, I but, but I imagine <laughs> so, you know, if you're out in the heat, you know, you get uh, dehydrated really quickly. Right. And by the eighth hour, you should have had anywhere between eight and 16 water bottles. And so, oh, I was going to grab my water bottle. Got a water bottle right here. So yeah, one, one, one to two water mine. bottles per hour. That's a, okay. that's a lot, but hey, it's a good way to We've stay hydrated water <laughs> and uh, you'll be, uh, you'll be uh, good to go for the day. Especially, you know, yeah, if you're going to be outside for several hours, right. water bottle, sunscreen, you know, you got to apply that sunscreen, keep reapply it. it up. Yeah. yeah, keep filling it up and uh, enjoy enjoy your time outside. Plus, this <laughs> helps save the environment if you're using exactly. a re reusable yeah. water container. So hold on. I think I'm going to get a quick. You got the straw. <laughs> mm -hmm. Otherwise, my lipstick gets all over this. So oh, sure, I know. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. And then I have to wash it when I get home. Hey, there you go. You're staying hydrated mm -hmm. on our uh, our hot uh, summer day. Whew. All right. Speaking of hot, why don't we talk a little bit about the wildfires? Yeah. Dangerous wildfires are actually burning right now, as we know, across Canada. It's actually some of the new information. It's prompting evacuations in three different provinces. Now, this is brand new video you're seeing from overnight and the flames are literally painting the sky orange. According to the Canadian fire, fire officials, there are more than 200 active wildfires, and half of those, unfortunately, are just, just burning out of control. Just wild. I mean, so many fires up there. That's crazy. And Aaron, you actually looked more into these fires, and that's what we talked about over the last couple of days is what's leading to our hazy skies yeah. and affecting air quality. So let's take a look what Aaron found out for us. We've been talking about it for several days, the hazy skies, that filtered sunshine appearance, and it's all because of those wildfires that are still burning in parts of Canada. And we're talking about several large fires that have been burning for over a week now, and that's been lofting all of this smoke higher up into the atmosphere. And we're talking about some of the smoke getting up to 20, 30, 40,000 feet. It's being lofted up very high, the same level that commercial airliners fly at. And so far, a lot of that smoke has been staying higher up, just giving that hazy sky appearance. But as we go towards the end of the week, we're seeing some air quality impacts, especially across parts of the upper Midwest, even here today. And that's because of a frontal system that's working through the region. So what's going on is as that system is moving through, it's actually pulling down 
some of that smoke closer to the surface and that's lowering the air quality already in Minnesota, parts of Iowa and Wisconsin here today. And it's something that we're going to be tracking for you as we get closer to the end of the week as we're tracking rain, showers and storms in the forecast for Thursday and Friday. We could also be dealing with some air quality impacts because of that wildfire smoke and your 10 weather impact team will be tracking the latest for you here on 10 TV. And we are still tracking the latest here as we look at the latest air quality. These are the current levels. Most of the state of Ohio in the moderate in the yellow. So overall a little bit lower than normal, but not quite as bad as we've had in the past. We had back in 2023. We were in the red. We had some of that purple showing up. Now there is some area there around Columbus and south where we have a little bit more orange showing up there. Uh, so we are monitoring these air quality levels and they will continue to possibly stay the same or maybe even worse in a little bit as we start to really see this whole frontal system, Meredith, that you were talking about bringing us that rain going into tomorrow right. and Friday could actually bring some of that smoke down and cause those air quality impacts. That's definitely caused quite the scene in our skies. Yeah, and it's uh, been wild uh, watching uh, the scene up around uh, Minneapolis. Uh, the sky just so hazy, even worse than it is here, and that air quality has been down into the red. And, you know, that's the thing we have to monitor because all that's coming from right. west to east, northwest to southeast, and it's moving towards us, so it could have some impacts. Wild weather for sure. And yeah. speaking of wild things, let's check out this video coming from Yellowstone National Park. Now, this is from May 31st, and it's capturing a small eruption. Let's say wait for it. Wait, wait for, for it. it. A few more seconds. I hope so. Yeah. Wait, where's it at? Where's there it goes. Oh, yeah. my gosh. Oh, my sorry. And I screamed into my mic. I just blew up, blew up somebody's ear in the production room. Well, this was a Black Diamond Pool. This is the first eruption from Black Diamond Pool that's been captured on video since a hydrothermal explosion that happened back on July 23rd, 2024. Now, although there is evidence from others monitoring data and also some eyewitnesses, sporadic eruptions have occurred several times since the July 24th event. Pretty wild stuff and also wild. This was yesterday. This is a tornado Ooh. in Oklahoma near the city of Norman. A uh, video captured by Jeremy Milligan uh, just showing that tornado on the ground. And there were several reports of severe weather across Oklahoma into Missouri. Kansas wow. City had tornado warnings all the way up to the Quad Cities, Davenport, Iowa. And just wild weather here yesterday. And we were talking about this, Meredith. This is the same storm system that's moving east right. towards us here in Ohio for Thursday and Friday. Friday. Now we have that lower end risk for Friday of severe weather, not talk about tornadoes, but still something we'll have to keep an eye on, but just well, wild video. Yeah, and I feel like whenever you talk about severe weather, that tornado threats almost, you know, it's never it's zero. zero. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yep. So just just stay prepared and yeah. we'll be here to keep you. Exactly. Posted. Well, thank you for joining us. That's it for your weather update here on 10 TV Plus. Coming up later tonight at 6, Chief Meteorologist Jerry Martz will be in. But until then, you catch more news, weather and traffic online at 10TV.com. Have a great afternoon.